I'm Dr. Alex Miller and I'm a primatologist from Western Australia. And this year I'm going to be joining a research team in the Côte d'Ivoire to help try to rediscover a thought to be extinct primate species, the Miss Waldron's red colobus monkey. Thought to be persisting in the southeast of the country in the Tano Ehi marsh forest region. This beautiful rufous and black colored colobus monkey has not been sighted since 1978 and no photos have ever been taken of a live individual. Miss Waldron's red colobus was declared extinct in 2000 by an American research group after their repeated search efforts failed to locate the primate. However, two years later in 2002, a promising revelation of a skin was found in possession of a local farmer living in a small hamlet. He said he had killed the monkey six months previously. Additionally, young local hunters living in the vicinity of the forest are able to accurately describe the coloration of the monkey. Further, in 2004, researchers reported hearing red colobus calls in the forest region. In 2006, Another red colobus skin was found in a village adjacent to Tano Ehi, and in 2008, calls of red colobus were reported to have been heard in the same forest by a team of scientists from a Swiss research group. Ten years later, research efforts have again intensified. In 2019, a Swiss research team strategically set up motion sensor cameras in key locations in the canopy of the Tano Ehi forest in search of Miss Waldron's red colobus. Many critically endangered primates were recorded, but not Miss Waldron's red colobus. In addition, other survey efforts have been employed, including research surveys, transect surveys, eDNA, iDNA, and drone searches. I will be joining Inza Kone, the initiator and leader of a Tano Ehi community-based conservation project. Miss Waldron's red colobus is one of global wildlife conservation's 25 most wanted lost species. Depending on the results of current and future planned surveys, Miss Waldron's red colobus could unfortunately become the first primate to be declared extinct in 500 years. Tropical mammals in general are hard to study, but the arboreal ones add much complexity. The Tano Ehi forest is an incredibly rich and biodiverse forest, and the treetop canopy is home to the critically endangered white thighed colobus, endangered white naped mangabe, and critically endangered rollaway monkey. Red colobus are always the first large animal to be hunted from a forest and are very vulnerable to bushmeat hunting due to the lack of flight response when threatened. The forest is under heavy poaching pressure from Ivorian and Ghanaian hunters, and it is currently being logged. Surveys in Ghana in 2006 confirmed the extinction of Miss Waldron's red colobus in Ghana. Thus, if any surviving monkeys remain, the only stronghold is the Tano Ehi forest in southeastern Côte d'Ivoire. Confirming their persistence could put them and their threatened forest habitat on the conservation radar. In 2024, the research focus will be thermal drone imagery and bioacoustic monitoring. Funds raised for this project will contribute to crucial field equipment, including a DGI Mavic 3 thermal drone, bioacoustic monitoring equipment, Tensile tree-rigged tents for arboreal camping in the flooded forest. Tablets for data recording. Lithium batteries for motion sensor cameras. And walkie-talkies for communication. By contributing to this project, you will be assisting vital research efforts in Côte d'Ivoire to rediscover a lost species.